Hey guys, before we start the video, I just wanna take this moment to shamelessly plug my new animated Halloween special. It's basically a crossover between Adventures in Partyland, the crazy city of Partyville, and it even has a cameo from a classic character. I am really proud of how this special turned out and I hope you enjoy it as well. It'll premiere on October 26th at 7.30. With that being said, onto the video. So, I was originally gonna do a big video where I talk about every single episode of season 6. But that video was never completed because, I had a lot more important stuff to do. So instead, I decided to divide the review into 5 videos. This video will be about Ice Cub, the second video will be about the other new characters, the third video will be about Armadillon, the fourth video will be the top 3 best and worst episodes of the season, and the fifth video will be about my overall thoughts on the season. And spoiler alert, I really didn't like this season. At all. It had a lot of potential, but at the end of the day, it just fell flat. Okay, I'll admit, maybe I got my expectations a bit too high, like, I should have known it wasn't gonna be perfect, but, we'll save that for the fifth video. But for now, let's talk about one of the new characters that was introduced this season, Ice Cub. Is he really as boring as I initially said? Well, let's find out. Whether or not you like Ice Cub, you gotta admit, his introduction freaking sucks. Seriously. He was so boring in his first episode. The only things we learn about his character is that he's nice, he likes superheroes, and he has a disability. We'll come back to this later. Seriously, this is not how you introduce a character. And before you go whining in the comments saying, oh it's just a kid show, no. That's not a valid excuse. In fact, I don't even have to go to other shows for examples because, this show is usually great at introducing characters. Take Anne Yu for example, we learn so much about her personality, and the role she's gonna play in the show from just a few minutes of her on screen. When you're introducing a character, you have to give us an idea of who he or she is, and why we should care about them. You're not gonna make them multi-dimensional in their first episode, but it's good to get as much as possible. This episode gives us no reason to care about Ice Cub. He's just nice and, that's it. In fact, he feels like more of a Spidey character than a PJ Masks character. Oh, and speaking of Spidey, I know this is off topic but, I gotta talk about this real quick. So, Marvel is making a spin-off of Spidey and his amazing friends, called Iron Man and his awesome friends. I am not, making this up. I know I should be mad at this news, but honestly, I can't help but laugh. Like, seriously. This is Marvel and Disney. Do you guys not have any new ideas? So now, we have a clone, of a clone. Oh my god. I have got to check this show out when it premieres. Not because I have high expectations for it, oh heck no, I just wanna see how truly awful it is. Plus, this is the same team who made Puppy Dog Pals and Spidey. There's no way this can be good! No. No way! Okay back to the video. The episode itself is fine for what it is, but as an introduction to Ice Cub, it does an absolutely terrible job. I wouldn't mind it if he was just a background character, but if he's gonna become one of the main characters of the season, you need to put in a little more effort. But hey, first impressions aren't everything. Maybe he starts to improve throughout the season, right? It's complicated. Ice Cub's personality is really bland. To quote the fandom, he's a selfless, kind-hearted kid who is very supportive and helpful to the people in his community. He's a social butterfly who gets along well with most people and likes to play basketball. Seriously. Is that all that he's good for? He's just, the nice kid and nothing else. Sure, the other heroes are nice because, of course they are, but they each have their own quirks and charm to make them stand out. Anyu is serious, no-nonsense, and antisocial. Newton is very smart, but he's also shy and prefers to be alone, something that I can personally relate to. Now back to Ice Cub. What makes him unique, what makes him stand out from the other heroes? Well, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, maybe he has some flaws that make him feel human, right? Actually, yes. Ice Cub does have some flaws to his character. 
In the episode, The Whiff of Badness, he becomes so focused on figuring out a weird smell, that he doesn't notice Gecko getting kidnapped by the ninjas. In the episode, Pirate Ice Storm, it's revealed that he hates pirates, so when he encounters Pirate Robot, he acts really aggressive towards him. Which honestly feels a bit out of character for him. Wouldn't that be something Anyu would do? Up to this point, there have been no hints that he would act this aggressively. But there is one episode that showcased his flaws in a perfect way, and that episode is, Heroes of Ice World. This, in my opinion, is the best episode for Ice Cub. And it actually made me like him a bit. Basically what happens is, Romeo steals the Ice Crystal, which gives Ice Cub his superpowers. He tries to get Lilyfei, who is another new character, to help him out, but Lefeifei just can't seem to pay attention, and she just does her own thing. Eventually, Ice Cub loses his patience and calls Lilyfei silly. You chase after fly bugs for fun! You get in the way! You don't understand how important this is! But I can help! I've got powers! I'm getting that crystal and taking it back to Ice World, and I don't need a silly space fairy to help! Because, when you live in a preschool show, being called silly is the equivalent to being called the R word. This episode actually gives Ice Cub an actual character flaw in a believable way. And it doesn't feel forced either, it feels natural, and the build-up was pretty good. If Ice Cub was like this more often, maybe I'd like him more. Okay, before I continue, I need to make one thing very clear. This segment is not intended to disrespect anyone with a disability. It should go without saying, but it's important to emphasize that my focus here is on critiquing the depiction of a disability in a fictional character, not the disability itself or the people who live with it. So I'll keep this short and brief. According to the PJ Masks fandom, Ice Cub has muscular dystrophy. In the daytime, he's always in a wheelchair, and when he's a superhero, he uses his arms to get around like a gorilla. So how does PJ Masks handle its depiction of disabilities? Simple, they don't. Yeah, I rewatched the whole season, and not once does his disability ever even get mentioned. Even Firebuds handles this stuff better, because at least they acknowledged it in some episodes. What's even the point of making Ice Cub have a disability if it's not even gonna matter in the end? If you take that aspect away, what really changes? Outside of this one scene where he does his laundry, we never really see how his disability affects him, and that's not relatable to kids who have the exact same disability as he does. I dunno, maybe he's just used to it, but man was this a missed opportunity. You could have taught so many good lessons to kids about resilience and self-acceptance. Anyways, conclusion time baby. So, what do I think about Ice Cub overall? Did my opinion change after watching the entire season? Well, yes and no. On one hand, for what he is, he's fine. He has a few good moments, and he does grow a bit throughout the season, but honestly, his lackluster personality is what really holds him back. He's just too bland to stand out from the other characters. Ultimately, Ice Cub had potential, but the execution fell short. A stronger introduction and more depth could have made him a more memorable character. I'm hoping future seasons do him justice and give him the development he deserves. Anyways, that's it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know what you think of this character in the comments. And until next time, party on.